Well, this summer marks the 80th anniversary of D-Day, which ultimately led to the liberation of Europe. Events will be held in Normandy, where thousands of Americans lay buried. And as 7 News' John Rogers shows us, a local organization is in charge of preserving that cemetery and others like it all over the world. Each year, more than 40 million people explore Paris, taking in the Louvre and the Eiffel Tower. It's a once-in-a-lifetime trip. But many gave their lives to keep that country free. Take a moment and understand the reason you can go see all of this and the reason you can enjoy all of this is because of the sacrifice of so many young Americans. All throughout France and across the world, hundreds of thousands of American servicemen from World War I and World War II are at rest. These graves serve as an enduring symbol of American bravery. The cemeteries are under the care of the American Battle Monuments Commission, which is based in Arlington. We keep the legacy and memory alive of what America has done for liberty, freedom, and democracy throughout the world. After World War I, thousands of American families decided to allow their loved ones to be buried overseas. So the commission was formed by Congress in 1923 as the guardian of America's overseas commemorative cemeteries and memorials. It preserves 26 cemeteries and 31 monuments around the globe, from France to Panama to the Philippines. Too few Americans know the sacrifice that America has made around the world in the cause of freedom. Sure, we know about D-Day, and ABMC cares for those grave sites. But we can't forget the Americans who died confronting Nazis in North Africa or the Bataan Death March in the Philippines. You may have heard of famed World War II General George Patton. He's buried in Luxembourg. It's, I think, healthy and good to remember that there is still an inner goodness to the United States and to the American people. And these sites remind America and Americans and the world about that inner goodness. And that's something that sets America apart. We as a nation do not sacrifice for furtherance of a king or a crown. We don't, we don't send our young to go fight for plunder or, or conquest. We fight for the values of freedom and democracy. Americans are very familiar with the phrase, freedom isn't free. But these sites prove that phrase doesn't only apply to our borders. In Arlington, John Rogers, 7 News.